Hi everybody, Sam at Mixed Up Craft, thank you for watching today. So this is the what's in the box, so that means it's my latest Trim Craft Design Team package. It is a big one and I am so excited. I've had a little peek, but I thought I would wait until I start filming so you can get my kind of first reactions and I will talk you through everything and I will share links to as much as possible as always in the video description box. So let's see what's inside. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to share all of the Dovecraft Essentials that we've received. So this is their newest launch. So I have here six by six envelopes in the craft card and in the white card stock. And again, the same here in the five by seven. So five by seven, six by six, 300 GSM. What can't you not like? This is my preferred weight. So I was really pleased to see that. You get eight in a pack. Yeah, really, really nice. So those will get used and will be gone within no time at all. Then we have these. Now I, we, we were getting teased on the, um, we've got a private Facebook group with the, all the design team and Kat in head office was teasing us with these. And um, it was quite funny actually because she was making words up and singing songs and things like that. So anyway, so we have here the metallic letter tiles in the rose gold foil and this is in the ir iridescent foil. If I just open them up, I mean there's there's loads, like it's not just like two of, you know, one letter, you've got loads already. I can see five or six of the A's alone, and they're really nice, they're really nice and thick. But look at that lovely rose gold! So, those are going to get used, and I can already see some fun projects with those. And then there's the iridescent, and you know how much look at that holographic finish there. You know how much I love the Dovecraft holographic card, I use that on everything at one point so these are definitely going to get used a lot but aren't those cool really really like those in total you get 150 i didn't see that on the top yeah 150 pieces so that's really really cool then we've got these these are adhesive sentiment toppers again i just love these for just speed really you don't have to worry about getting your stamps out all the time sometimes you just want a quick topper so you've got happy birthday with the silver foil and the gold and then you've got thank you again with the gold and then the silver get one of them out there so you get 12 in a pack but you can see there that lovely foiling and they've got the adhesive foam there on the back and that's them there and the thank you so there's the gold really nice and the silver love those really nice size now i've got the thank you and the happy birthday but there's also with love and congratulations as as part of that as well then we've got these 100 pieces of wooden bunting oh and it's you know that smell when it's what's it called when the burnt wood oh it's really nice <laughs> so these are like this you can thread your ribbon through yeah that's it laser cut you can see there where it's been cut it's that oh, i love it it's that burnt smell but these um work brilliantly obviously to just paint or you can use your inks but also they're great for heat embossing so if you add your versamark and then sprinkle your embossing powders you'll have really nice bunting with an embossed finish so yeah they're going to look great and then obviously just feed through like probably a baker's twine or something with those but 100 pieces so again that's going to last a good while and you know what that's going to work really well with and that's the secret garden collection so yeah they get used then I've got 10 of these iridescent photo frames. The Dovecraft are known for doing their photo frames, frames, but what I like about these is that you can use them for handles, and I have used them in one of the tutorials that I've done for Trimcraft using the Happy You collection. So, but look at that. Oh, it's like a disco in my hand. Absolutely love it. So yeah, eight of those. Then I got this. Now I don't have one, so I was actually looking the other day at getting one, and I'm so glad I didn't. So thank you Trimcraft because this is something that I do need. And for anybody that doesn't know, it's a gem pickup tool. So take this out. So it comes in a nice little case and it's got a really pretty, it's got like purple, like crystals running through the middle. Let me just show, oh, and it even says Dovecraft on the side there. How cute is that? So basically this here, I imagine you could probably not that I imagine you need to, so I think it'll last a long time, but you could replace. But this is like sticky. So it's like a, it's almost like got a wax feel to it. But what you can do, so if you remember I brought these and literally you just pick it up and it's a waxed, a tacky wax tip and then you push it back down. And obviously you'd have adhesive on the other side so it would just kind of come off that straight away but look look how easy it is to pick up even the smallest of detail and then this end here is to just push down you know and stick it in place so yeah really really like that and you can mold this it's a moldable tip 
so that's brilliant and I like that it's got this little case because obviously nothing's going to get damaged and it just slides in its little home but I really really like that make sure I get that bit in there properly okay so next we've got these two really nice sentiment stamp sets so one is your occasions which is this one here and this one's general and I I love both but the general ones really stood out because it's just I love the font take it out of the plastic there and put it on the back of this you can see it much better but I like that they are longer. I prefer longer landscape kind of sentiments as opposed to portrait style. So I know these are nice and they will work with things, but I really like all these. So you've got Made With Love, Lucky To Have A Friend Like You, Let's Celebrate. That's probably gonna get used tons for me. Wishing You A Day Of Happiness, that's really nice. And Sending Hugs And Happy Thoughts. But then you've also got All My Love, So In Love With You, Especially For You, Fantastic News. Life Is Better With You, From Me To You, Just Because, Just To Let You Know, and Make A Wish really really good I like that one you get 15 and then this one again really nice font you've got thinking of you get well soon just for you always in my thoughts thank you happy Easter happy Mother's Day sorry you're leaving happy birthday with sympathy and happy Father's Day so again you've got something for, for everything there which is great but yeah like I say you can never have too many sentiment stamps because it's something that you will always go to so yep they're going to get well used and then we've been given these rainbow coloured ribbons look at these really really like these love the real christmas red love that kind of lime kind of green that's coming up as almost white but it's it's not it is like a lavender color i don't know if it actually says the colors on here no it doesn't but yeah really really nice love those and then we move on to the papers now that's just my thing i absolutely love papers you could just give me tons of papers and i'll be happy so this is the new making memories now i was lucky enough to be given the sample one when i went up to visit head office so i've had this one in my stash in the 8x8 for a while and i created some projects for the guys at head office but it's nice to have the 12x12 so i can start making some nice gift bags and things okay so in this one you get three spot uv designs two glitter designs Designs and half double sided papers and they always give you a little kind of you can see down there and also you get the overview so this is the latest first edition release and if we start from the back and I will flick through now I've got quite a few paper pads to go through with you so I'm not going to go spend too long on it but at the back here you get this one and then the reverse is this one here then you've got this one here with the reverse being this one it's really nice star and then you get that on there. They're almost like doodle kind of images. I really like them. Love this one, the rainbows and the hearts. And on the opposite side, you get the balloon hearts. And these are really nice to be able to cut out as well. You get this one here, again, easy to cut out. And then you have that one there on the reverse. Love the birds there. And you've got some of them look like they're kissing and then you've got this kind of ones on their own as well. And then you get that on there. This is another favourite, really like that design. And then you have the crosses. Then you've got this nice kind of polka dot and the hearts. And then you're onto your single sided, so your premium kind of designer papers here. So we've got this lovely, beautiful one there. We've got that one there, which is a good background. This one here. See, I was fussy cutting this on the 8x8 pad, so it's nice to have them even bigger now. Really like that one. This one here, and if you see there, can you see all the different texture? Really nice. That one, again, it's got that gloss over the top. This one, again, I fussy cut that one on the smaller version, so it's nice to see these bigger images. That one, I've made a gift bag with, love that one. And then you've got your stripe gorgeous absolutely stunning so yes yeah, so that's the latest first edition pad okay so next i've got the new paper addicts release so i've got one two three four five i've got six paper pads here so i'm going to be really busy but these are the 20 so you get 24 double-sided sheets with 24 designs 200 gsm acid and lingam free so it's perfect for your scrapbooking the good thing about this is though is that they are all double-sided and everything works really nice together so this is the retro days love the palette of colors here it's something i don't have it's really nice to have that kind of mustard yellows the greys with the kind of hints of the brown through it really do like this one so if I flick through so you get this lovely one here and then you get that design get this one here with this one love this it's like um, kind of watercolour brush strokes and then you've got the triangles 
gift bags are going to and boxes are going to be so nice with these papers. That one, love this, love the feathers. Look at the other side. Oh, I mean, they clash together, but don't they? Some of these remind me of like my nan's wallpaper from years ago or carpets, but I love it. I think it's really, really fun. And this one here. There is a certain designer that has this kind of style that I like and it's reminding me of that and I think that's probably why I'm drawn to it so much. Love that one there. This, oh, gorgeous. In fact, they work quite well together. And then, like I said, the reverse side's perfect. So if you've got a gift bag and then you fold that over the top, it's just gonna look so nice. And you get this one here. And then you've got this one. And then this one. And I love just that plain grid. It reminds me of like the safety glass. It's got that look to it, which again is really retro and vintage. So I do love that style. And then this top sheet's brilliant. Although it's not, well, not a top sheet, but you've got three of them, but it's great for cutting, fussy cutting. So you can make nice little tags and stuff to match obviously your boxes and your gift bags. So that is the retro days. So next we have the Once Upon a Dream. Again, all the same information. But this one here, you've got lots of butterflies and ballerinas. It's got a really nice palette of colours again. I love that, that yellow with the purple. They always give us a little kind of fact sheet. And on this one here, they've said it's a sweet palette of pastel purple, yellow and pink hues. So yeah, really like this one. And again, just work from the back. So we have this one. That one there, again, they're really nice to fussy cut. In fact, you could die cut them with a circle die. That'll come out quite nicely. Love this one. Oh, it's the same one. I just thought then, I'm sure I've seen it. This one with ballerinas. Then you've got your butterflies with, again, ballerinas in a different colour. Love that one. Really, really pretty. So you've got more ballerinas with the bows. You've got polka dots, the flowers. You've got hearts with the ballerina, sh uh, ballerina shoes. It looks really nice butterflies and this says follow your heart follow your dreams and then that's like a doodle kind of print with the butterflies got a polka dot with the butterflies and you've got hearts with the butterflies and then again the ballerina shoes with the butterflies really love that image of the ballerina shoes i think that's really really cute so yeah love that one and that is the once upon a dream Okay, next we then have the Game On. So this is your sports theme, which is really good because I don't have a lot of this. I've got the first edition Grand Plans, which has got like, um, kind of like a a boom box and trainers and things like that. But this is more sports related and I already had a little look at the kind of top sheet here and they look really, really nice. So again, start from the back. So you've got this one and then you have the basketball and the net got a good checkered one there so it's a great one for like formula one and cars and things like that and then on this side you have the baseball and then you've got the stripes with the bicycle then you've got the racing flags with this kind of cross dashes and, cro and kind of cross you've got the football net that's a really good one actually I like that one a lot with the footballers so that's going to make some really fun projects I do think they're really cool then you've got the golf ball and the hole. And then you've got the actual kind of driving range, I guess. I'm not really down with all the golfing terms, but there's your hole and the flag <laughs> and a golf, golf club. <laughs> then you've got the stars, I like that one, with the archery. That's your archery kind of target. That's the word I was looking for with your arrow. Do you know what? I'm actually quite good at this. Yeah, I must admit, I've done this before and I always get it. Like, yeah, I'm pretty good. So not many things like that I'm very good at, but that one I remember I was particularly good at. Anyway, then we've got tennis. And uh, you've got your tennis ball and the net. And this one I really liked. If I bring it around the right way so you can see a bit better. Look at the tickets. I think they're really, really cool. Admit, uh, so you've got ticket big game, admit one championship. These ones here like you can completely cut that out it's not attached to anything else so some of them and that one there i really like it i think that's a really nice paper and then you get this it's got like a square image on it and then you got the swimmers that's really cool as well I like that one you've got this nice background with the cricket cricket bat and then this one here just says goal all over it i think that's really cool again you can easily cut those out 
and you've got your trophy there with winner and also champions so again really easy to kind of fussy cut those and you've got this one here with all the different so you've got a rugby ball, rugby ball, football, golf ball, baseball, basketball, tennis ball I think that's all of them I think I've got them right and then this one here another really nice one with just really cool quotes so get ready goal come on team go good times play yeah I think that's all of them love it and that is the last one I think yeah so that is the game on so it's definitely going to get used to locks don't like I said don't ever really have a lot of masculine or even sport related kind of papers so it's really nice to have this one in my stash next we've got fever forever i feel like i want to sing the spice girls song now but uh this is again 200 gsm acid and lingam free and you get all your double-sided sheets this is me just because of the color it's just got sam's colors all over it and inside here look at that beautiful and then you have this kind of it's like your lights imagine your evening lights at a party outside then you've got this one here, so it's just like a string of, it almost looks like that felt bunting I made the other day with my Arteza felt, so yeah, that's really cool. Love that one there with all of the bunting. Again, you can easily cut that out, that look cool. You've got this one here, love the polka dot one, so fun, perfect for birthday bags. This is a real nice lime green, matches actually, does it match that ribbon quite well? Yeah, just about, kind of. And then you've got your cactus, cacti cactuses don't know then you got this one here love that one because again you can make really nice kind of like borders with it so you can just cut strips of the different prints and you got that one again that one there you can easily cut these as strips love that one that kind of abstract square print and then you got the cactuses there with the kind of the banner or the bunting from before this one here is nice because you've got the good vibes and again like I said you can cut that whole strip and line that at the bottom of a you know a card or your gift bag or something so that would definitely come in handy and you've got your arrows and you've got these arrows here love this one really really cool it's got a real kind of um, Aztec kind of look to it that's what that reminds me of again all of these kind of arrows and then again you've got the cactus that one that's one of my favourites I love that one love that's really fun see they work really well together I flip it over this i love 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 that i'd love that in like a dress or something i think that'd look really cool and then on that side there so again these are really easy to fussy cut but that's just a really fun paper pack love that one fever forever okay and then i'm down to the last two and these are my favorites now the reason i think the tropical bliss just does it for me is it does really remind me of when i used to live in malaysia and you'll see my reasons for that so from the back here this one reminds me it's got a bit of a camouflage kind of print to it also looks like maybe the footprints of an animal but again i don't know how well that's picking up but that's really cool so this is something i would use kind of as my mat layer and then kind of build from that and then the other side is this one here i don't know how well it's picking up it's kind of got like distressed areas like brown kind of patches throughout it so again that looks really cool but then you move on to things like this and I just absolutely love this. So it has the hibiscus flower, which is the flower of Malaysia, and it would be everywhere. They'd even have like street lights in the shape of the flower. So it's really, really cool. And I love it. It's a beautiful flower. And then also you've got that lovely parrot image. And then you go into this print here. So it's like a chevron print. So again, that backs that really nicely. Then this one here is just stunning. So again, it's got more of the hibiscus in the yellow, but then you've got these beautiful water lilies and you'd see these kind of things everywhere in the ponds. And just the lovely greenery and you've got that beautiful dragonfly, but I think that's just such a stunning print. And then it's backed with this one here. It's kind of like a tortoiseshell kind of pattern. And again, you've got these cool just prints to match all of the more detailed kind of patterns. This one here. And you've got that cool like polka dot. And look at that one. I mean, look how great those go together. But look, all with the water lilies over the top. And that one's sat on the actual lily pads. Oh, look at it. That's stunning. That is going to make a stunning gift bag or the lid to a gift box. Oh my God, my mind. <laughs> and you could fussy cut one of those. Just, oh, love it. I get so excited over pattern paper. That one, mm, mm, mm. love it just oh, 
makes me want to go back look at that together you got that cool print there these here these remind me of almost like Moroccan tiles so it's kind of going away from the whole Malaysian thing but yeah that's what that kind of reminds me of but again really nice to kind of fussy cut and then this one here look I love that that's a toucan love this and I've seen one of these up close and they are magnificent animals they are just incredible so yeah that's really good love this one can you imagine cutting the little toucan and having him kind of poking his head out from one of these leaves or something but yeah I love that I think it's such a cool print and you got this one here and then you've got a mustard colored one there another nice one with kind of the all your foliage and stuff look the two of them together isn't that a lovely page that is just so easy to cut out oh i don't know what to do first and then got that one there and that's finished with this one here which is a nice one to use as like trims so again you can cut sections of that out and line it on your project so love it it's gorgeous yeah tropical bliss my favorite and then you've got the last one, which is Forever and Always. And I think the reason why this is one of my favourites is because a lot of the images are watercolour prints, and I just love that. So again, from the back here, so you've got this one. Look at the way it comes up from the bottom. That would make a lovely scrapbook layout background, so that's really cute. And you've got the stripes there on the background. Then you've got this heart one. Isn't that gorgeous? Against the stripes, that's really fun. And again, those would cut perfectly, so that's a always a plus nice big thick they're just brush strokes there again I think that's why I like it I just love that kind of subtle parts of it then you've got these here which are just again look like watercolor painted flowers and you've got the hearts there as well love that one it's one of my favorites again they've all been kind of painted with watercolor just think they look really cool and then this one here really nice then you've got the hearts again, but smaller. This is another favourite. Just love all of those flowers, all kind of really kind of jammed together there on that sheet. And then you just got that real nice kind of ombre of the peaches there. So that will work with many of the, the papers. And then you've got a smaller version there. Then you've got the larger one, which I love. because so again, you can easily fussy cut all of these blooms and kind of cluster them together on a card or something. So that's going to look really fun. Then you've got it again there. You got that one? It's really cool. Just seeing how well they come up. And then this is lovely. She got happily ever after. Again, really easy to cut these out. And then you've got this one here. So fall in love. So it's just fall in love, but in all different fonts. So again, that's really nice. And then on the other side, you've got the small little hearts. And you've got the heart shape there. It's like a wreath effect the XOXO I think that's brilliant again it's all done in watercolor so it's really fun and then you've got the ombre in a more of a pinky pinky peach with forever and always so again this is this is a good Valentine's one but it's also great for weddings so that's what I will certainly be using it for is those yeah weddings engagements things like that so it's, it's going to tick a lot of boxes and then you've got that one there with the polka dot with the love and then the last one again one of my favorites is that kind of marble effect in the peach and then that's finished with kind of a bit of everything throughout the pack You've got the xoxo isn't it gorgeous really is beautiful love it okay so there's my most recent trim craft design team package and it is brilliant i love it all these things can cross over with these paper pads already these tiles are going to be used and then i've got the sentiments i've got the ribbons these ribbons will match every paper pack in some way toppers cards everything it's all here and i've got a little pickup tool so yeah really really pleased so thank you again trimcraft you always spoil us and you know how much i love all this so thank you so much and to all of you watching i will share as many links in the video description below and yeah watch this space for projects if you've got any ideas or you think oh yeah sam i want to see you make this pop all that in the comments below because i do always read them and yeah i'll see what i can do but until next time please hit the like button if you've enjoyed today and subscribe to my channel and i'll be back tomorrow with another tutorial thanks for watching bye